morning guys it's monday today and i thought i would vlog because i haven't vlogged in ages and i get messages and comments from you guys saying when is a new vlog coming out we miss your casual random vlogs from home so this is what i'm gonna do today just woke up I'm gonna take dorian out for a walk now but first things first i need a glass of water in the morning otherwise i can't function look at him he is so ready to go out I'm gonna take him out for a walk, need to buy a banana for my breakfast and then I will catch up with you guys tell you what I was up to during the weekend, show you my breakfast Let's go baby It's my loco Here we go um, And this, by the way, maybe I'll share that If you have a dog and you're from Lithuania, I recommend these uh, trash bags. These are quickly degradable. I was looking for something like this and you can buy these in IKEA supermarket. I need to take my earphones. I still haven't got AirPods and I really want to because my earphones always look like this and it's a pain in the bum trying to untangle them every single day. By the way, this is my new bag from Friday JW um, pay i think it's so stunning i want it in every single color um so yeah i always listen to my dad wrote a porno podcast i'm on season three and it's the best podcast ever so i usually will listen to one while wa walking dorian um and i think it's very cold today so take my jacket leather jacket All right, got me bananas, didn't forget this time. And Dorian is ready to have his feet washed. We do this every time we come back from a walk. Mm, baby. I played the blue. While away. This is what always happens after a bath. Well, he didn't have a full bath today. <laughs> Story. Every time an ambulance or police passes by with sirens, this is what he does. Oh, gee. So at home I have to dress like it's summer because it's so unbelievably hot. I'm actually all sweating because it's so annoying. I don't know, like I cannot turn down the heat at home because of the system. And so you basically have to live with your windows open and the warmth going out because otherwise it's just like I'm melting right now. I already applied my eye cream before heading out. I use this Misha eye cream, which I talked to you guys about. I absolutely love it. So now I'm gonna um, apply a little bit of this Caudalie um, Brightening Essence, which I'm using. I don't know if it does anything to my face, but got it in Paris recently. And then for my face cream, I'm gonna use this one because it's super lightweight and very hydrating. Bioderma. Hydra Bio Gel Cream. I actually don't have anywhere to place my camera. So let's try this. So just put it in the palm of my hands and just do this. And hope for the best. I'm not gonna do my makeup because I'm not going out today. I'm gonna work from home all day so no need for makeup. I'm gonna let my skin breathe and then I'm gonna apply my Laneige lip sleeping mask. I do have some on, 
but it can never hurt. <laughs> See there? I always have to tie Dorian's ears with a scrunchie. He looks like a little samurai. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. Uh, over the weekend I cooked this, which was um, cauliflower, lentil, didn't work out. I didn't like it at all, it was very dry. I used Madeleine Shaw's book, so I don't know, I'm not cooking that again. Um, but this I've tried, it's actually my second time trying it and it's absolutely amazing. It's from her A Year of Beautiful Eating book. You can screenshot this recipe if you don't have the book. But basically, instead of black rice, which is super hard to find here, I use red rice um, that you can buy in Iki supermarket. So yeah, it's just so, so yummy. And I had one, one portion uh, yesterday. And I have some leftover rice. It doesn't look appetizing at all, but believe me, I'll make it look appetizing. So I'm just gonna add some almond milk and heat it up. Basically, what you have to do is use 100 grams of uh, black rice, 400 milliliters of rice or almond milk to cook it. Bring it to the boil, cook it for 30 minutes so that all of the liquid gets soaked up in the rice and so it's like nice, soft and fluffy. Um, and then you have to um, use one tablespoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of maple syrup or honey. So what I do is I use honey and mix it with vanilla sugar. Tastes really good anyway. You can use agave syrup, um, whatever you like. You stir it into the rice. And then while the rice is cooking, heat the coconut oil in a small frying pan over medium high heat and put coconut sugar in it and slice your banana, put it in the oil and cook for two minutes on each side until the banana is nice and caramelized. So as I said, I'm just gonna add some almond milk. So I'm just gonna let it simmer on low heat. Okay, this is an actual proof that it's hot at home. My coconut oil is liquid. It's usually solid. So if I had coconut sugar, I would use that, but I don't, so I substitute it with brown sugar. And I use two teaspoons of that. I tried this banana and it's actually really sweet already, which is nice. So, yeah, I'm gonna cook it for two minutes until it's caramelized. So in the meantime, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee. Um, I want strong coffee this morning. It's all the yellow ones here. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> I have coffee in there. Okay, I'm gonna use number nine, Forza, which is pretty strong. Actually, my most used one is red. Um, so I don't know, that's gonna be a little intense for me. Oh, by the way, I made a fresh batch of granola over the weekend and oh my god, it looks amazing and smells amazing. This time it turned out absolutely perfect because last time I burned it a little bit. Um, so this time it's incredible and I have a video on how to make granola on my channel, so do check it out. I'm gonna froth my almond milk. I just flipped my bananas, they're almost burning but not yet, so they should be perfect. And I'm gonna turn down the heat because the rice is done. Oh my goodness, they look amazing. They're perfectly caramelized bananas. I think it's the first time they turn out so good because before I was scared of burning them, but now they're just perfect. I mean, look at that. Look at these bananas. So now I'm gonna go in with the toppings. You have to add, according to Madeline, 
a little bit of extra almond milk so that it's not dry and then go to town with the berries of your liking she uses blackberries and blueberries but I only have these massive blueberries so I'm gonna use those then some almond flakes then I add some agave syrup not too much I like to add condensed milk on top this just makes it heavenly I'm telling you guys yes it is very very sweet but oh my god it's like heaven on a plate it's so yummy and it should take you about five minutes in the morning not more if you have rice pre-cooked from the night before because 30 minutes in the morning no one has that time right so you can do it before uh, and just heat it up in the morning really quickly uh, banana takes two minutes pop all the ingredients on so yeah this is about a five minute breakfast i would say and if you like it sweet then you're gonna love it whoa voila this is my breakfast today i just took a picture of this goodness because i couldn't not mm. seriously this is something else if you want to treat someone this is the meal i'm now sat at my laptop looking for a bus ticket um to go to konas because i'm going on thursday and then i come back on Friday uh, my friend actually lives in Kona so I'll sleep over at hers going on Thursday for a Ray-Ban event um, they're opening a new Ray-Ban stand in Kona's Acropolis and then together we'll go see the Joker movie which I wanted to see ever since it came out look at the amount of hard drives <laughs> that's on my desk this is the newest one I actually had to go and buy recently because this one got corrupted thankfully I was still able to transfer all my files like it allowed me to do that which was amazing so I had to format it once I transferred everything still editing my Paris vlogs they're taking me forever I don't know I feel like we shot so much content during Paris Fashion Week that it's now like a vomit of content that I need to edit and I film everything on my phone so it takes a while to transport everything into a hard drive anyway it's a little annoying that's why it's taking me ages to edit those I have a new plant which I brought to my apartment last night actually um, my aunt gave it to me she tends to give plants to me <laughs> this one is from my aunt as well um, yeah she has a big one actually i have killed all the plants that i bought for my apartment unfortunately so it's not green anymore as it was i either overwater them or don't give them enough sun so i don't know like i don't even know what this one needs and it's probably not the best to keep it here outside of sunlight my string of hearts however is super happy i actually trimmed it because it was so long it was on the floor i have another one here which is very happy as well super long and beautiful so when i trimmed it i popped it into a glass with water and it will grow roots and you'll be able to put it in a soil and in a new pot look at Doris. he's sleeping on my shoes what's up baby why are you here okay so daisy have kindly sent me estee's new necklace from her goddess collection and it is so stunning it's a goddess tea bar necklace um so i've never worked with daisy before all the jewelry pieces that i purchased i purchased myself I actually wear them every single day like the earrings from estee's previous collection the ring and the snake chain so yeah they're the pieces of jewelry that i never ever take off i love them so much and they let me choose a piece from her new collection and i chose this one and it's so beautiful um so yeah thank you so much daisy keep my jewelry like my everyday jewelry here i also adore 
this bracelet I got in Paris from and other stories it is so beautiful um, and your favorite thing so actually today I'm gonna go to the hospital because my grandfather had an operation the doctor said that his recovery really depends on his heart like how well it will take it so really scared about that because you know my grandfather is old but yeah i'll go visiting him in an hour so i really hope he will recover soon please send your well wishes <laughs> to my grandfather on friday i worked from home and then in the evening i went to yuri's concert i'm gonna insert some footage here a couple clips <laughs> concert was absolutely incredible it's his um, first album uh, concert he's doing a tour um, in Lithuania like visiting 11 different cities so he started with Klaipeda because he is from Klaipeda we went to the same school <laughs> together on Saturday I went out with Dorian for a walk in the park um, and it was such a beautiful sunny day it's so gorgeous in the park with like yellow orange leaves everywhere so we had a really nice long walk I was listening to my podcast and then I remember I came back home and I cooked uh, I was really in the mood to make some food so I made that cauliflower thing I actually went to buy all the groceries first and then made that cauliflower thing that I didn't like at all and then I made the black rice um, porridge I made my granola and then I was watching TV series I was watching this is us which I started watching recently I think I'm like three or four maybe episodes in which I really like it's such a heartwarming show like you experience so many emotions watching it like I found myself crying, laughing, and just feeling very happy, like lots of different feelings watching that show, so it's really nice if you're looking for something new to watch. And then I watch Euphoria, completely different, it doesn't give you any warm feelings, it's just, it gives you icky feelings. But at the same time, it's very addictive. I don't recommend it to anyone who's underage because it's just, it's not censored at all. It's about sex, drugs, mental problems, and also at the same time, this sort of, I don't know, this casual sort of lifestyle that's so unrelatable to me and like so far from my teenage experience that when you watch it it's like super shocking and maybe a lot of teenagers are like this now hopefully not that's horrible to me but at the same time the the show is amazing the cast is so good the way it's filmed the sonography music by labyrinth it's all so so good so well executed show um and the characters are all so interesting they're very they're very deep characters very complex very problematic all of them so that's what's interesting about the show but uh it, it is disturbing for sure and i also am watching unbelievable but um haven't watched it when i got back from paris because there we watched like four episodes i know it's a short show so i need to catch up on that as well do let me know what you guys are watching uh unbelievable is great as well so on saturday we have this show um dancing with the stars i think lots of countries have this show but it started pretty recently here um it was episode but it, st it started recently here so I don't watch it on Saturdays because of all the commercials that are super long I watch it with my parents on Sundays we all cuddle up and watch Dancing with the Stars I think everyone is so amazing well there are 
a uh, few couples that I'm not so keen on but other than that it's so good so lovely to see everyone so talented and trying to learn to dance which is so beautiful and um, I personally know Mantas who is my friend Simona's hairstylist such a cool guy and he's dancing in the project so I support him support everyone yeah all the dancers are amazing lots of Netflix and chill over the weekend uh, then with my parents we watched seven pounds a movie with Will Smith which I saw when I was a teenager and I couldn't remember much of it I just knew that it's a great film we watched it and it was like oh my god it's so deep so wonderful such a good idea if you have never seen seven pounds and you want to watch something nice it's a sad movie but it's a must watch i think like the ending is whoa so yeah then i came back home and went to sleep and here we are now I caught up on my emails and today i actually will have to get ready to go visit my grandpa on the way to the hospital this is a theater like a youth theater this is Martinas Majvedas Park which has lots of sculptures it's so beautiful now in autumn this is children's hospital but I'm going to another one wearing my dogs blue jeans the sun is setting so it's really beautiful so pretty some of you guys asked to see more of Kleipeda I'm back home I visited my grandpa he's doing fine he was in a great mood when he saw us like his face lit up um, he is on painkillers I was actually really glad to see him looking so well because I thought that he would look way worse after operation now I'm gonna make myself some dinner I actually have some salmon and some potatoes that my mom made over the weekend so it's not like I'm gonna cook something I'll just pop it in the oven um, to warm it up and oh by the way I want to show you guys something <laughs> look at Dorian this is how he always lays with his legs like that um, so let me take you to my wardrobe which is pretty organized I would say but still I need to look through everything and because I know that there are things that I don't wear anymore this is the box of the green bag I showed you today this is something I want to show you maybe I'll just sit like this so last week I went to meet up for coffee with Vaida who is the founder of good taste citizen brand that's based in Claypada actually she founded it with her friend but now she's on it alone and um, we wanted to meet for coffee for such a long time because she's been following me and she's yeah she said i'm a big fan of yours which is super sweet i shot some pictures with her linen clothing because she does beautiful uh, linen pieces so i'm gonna insert some pictures right here so now for autumn winter she started doing knitwear from merino wool um, and I'm gonna show you because she gifted me some pieces so all her uh, items come in these beautiful linen dust bags that you can reuse for traveling basically what's nice about her brand is that she focuses on sustainability and she tries to make everything like super natural organic sustainable so yeah she kindly gifted two of them to me uh, they're all handmade in clay peda. So yeah, this is the first sweater. It would probably be better uh, if I showed it to you on than off. But yeah, it, so it goes um, in at the waist. It has this waistband and then kind of poofs out a little bit. This one is more fitted than the other one that I'm going to show you. So that's the brand. Good Taste Citizen. But yeah, it's so soft uh, because it's merino wool. 
And then the other one, this is actually my favorite. I love this one because it's baggier. So it's like a slouchy, super cozy um, jumper and it's a turtleneck. So that's nice um, because like Klepeda is super windy. You always need a scarf. And with this, you don't even need to wear a scarf. Probably it looks ridiculous with shorts, but as I told you guys, it's super hot at home. So yeah, this is what the jumper looks like on. I would wear it like this a little slouchy. So yeah, it's definitely one of those staple pieces that you should have in your wardrobe. It's so, so cozy. So it's amazing to see something like that um, emerging in my hometown. Um, very proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. And you guys check out the sweaters. I'm gonna link them down below in the info bar. Bye guys. Bye guys. This is going to be my dinner. Now I'm just preheating my oven so that I can pop it in. And voila, this is my dinner. Super simple, just a piece of salmon. It's so, so simple to marinate, just um, throw on loads of herbs, salt and pepper, some basil or rosemary. My mom said it needs some extra salt. And then slice one potato and again put some basil. Drink of choice is this, non-alcoholic um, Kronenburg uh, Blanc beer. It's amazing, it's so, so good. I needed some freshness, so I just added some spring onion on my potatoes, chopped some radish, dill, and feta cheese. So, voila, that's my dinner. Looks really yummy. Baby! <laughs> So I really hope you guys enjoy this uh, spontaneous little vlog and I hope to vlog a little more and show you guys some food because I know a lot of you enjoy when I um, show recipes and cook in my vlogs so maybe I'll do that more often because I love making food. Have a great day or night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!